Hey everybody, my name is Jennifer. This is Metatrona speaking. If you haven't watched this channel before, I channel Archangel Metatron, I channel other uh, spirit guides, ascended masters, and angels. Um, sometimes you might see my shoulders move or like one side of my body moving. My guides line up with my body in order to use the right side as a yes. That's that shoulder right there that you saw. Or they use the left side as a no. Um, also I'm clairvoyant. So a lot of times you'll see me kind of look off into space and that's me trying to access visual information in order to convey that to you. Today, I wanted to share with you some different messages. And I'm realizing now that I have a message on my phone that I want to share with you. And my phone is like over there. Um, so I'll have to grab that. I have actually, so in addition to the channeled message that I have, I have a tiny stack of oracle cards that Metatron has chosen. I have a, a little selection over here of Amanda Ellis sprays that I want to talk about. Um, if you see this gorgeous painting behind me, I wanted to show this to you guys. I purposely put it in a frame without glass so that you could very clearly see how magnificent this is. This is from Katrine Scott, who is a Swedish artist. She painted this. This is one of her fine art prints. I can't even tell you how much I love this. I mean, it's really hard to pick a favorite piece of hers, but this might be my favorite piece. Um, I'll link her stuff in, on my page so you can take a look. Her artwork, I'm hoping very badly to get some books out eventually, and I would love to include lots of her artwork with the books that I'm going to be putting out. Um, this one in particular, you'll notice this big, like the beautiful orange color on it. I channeled a message based on the energy of her uh, artwork, and I actually plan to do this with many of her pieces um, because she's working with energies that are, to be honest, when I really tune into it, it she's working at like 12D, like 12th dimensional energies, which is phenomenal. And it's not something that I do regularly. Like I channel uh, probably like five to 70 is kind of where I'm comfortable. I can go higher, but it hurts my head. It clearly does not hurt her head at all. She just channels it right into her artwork. Um, anyways, if you're interested, check that out. Um, let me put it back here. And now I kind of need to go grab my phone because I want to do, I'm going to tell you the channeled message I got. I was trying to get a channeled message from my, my two guides that always support me when I'm feeling really off balance. If I'm feeling like overwhelmed or sad or depressed, the two guides I always call in to assist me are Mother Mary and Master Thay, who Master Thay is um, an individual who passed away not that long ago, um, and he, in this most previous, most recent incarnation, he was a Vietnamese monk, and just adored and loved by many, many, many people. So he and uh, Mother Mary are the two that I call in to support me. So I was trying to get channeled messages from both of them. Um, I'm still going to be brave and get one from Master Thay. I haven't, I didn't finish getting his yet. I did get one from Mother Mary, so I want to give you that. And let me, let me just, let me grab, let me grab my phone for a second. I'll be right back. I'm back. Okay. Sorry for the interruption. I should have, I always grab my phone because my phone always has my notes on it. But this time I was just like, yeah, I'm going to do Oracle cards. I don't need my phone. And then I realized I do. Um, so I'm going to give you this channeled message from Mother Mary. And then I want to pull some Oracle cards. Well, I, 
Okay. Okay. So I'll probably pull Oracle cards from different, um, working with different energies. So I'll probably pull some Oracle cards that Mother Mary wants me to pull. I'm going to try to pull some Oracle cards that Master Thay wants me to pull. And I will channel to the best of my ability the messages that they're trying to convey to us. So let me see. Okay. So Mother Mary. So I called her to me and it's kind of crazy because I work with them. Like I use them to support my incarnation in this lifetime, right? Whenever I'm feeling like, what? I get angry at my other guides or whatever's going on in my physical 3D life is starting to feel overwhelming and I'm starting to get caught up in it. These are the two guides that I call in for support. For whatever reason, I never just like, hey, let's just talk. <laughs> I never just chat with them. I should, I don't. It takes takes energy to channel and I was trying to explain this uh earlier to my patreon group that it's kind of like it's kind of like I have a, a, a battery right and I have only so much battery life where I can tune into that other space and get accurate information and after a while it starts um it starts getting kind of exhausting and the, and your physical energy starts getting depleted. So I have a pretty decent battery. I can go for, oh, I don't know. I, I can, I probably channel three or four hours a day. Is that accurate? Three? Okay, he says three. <laughs> I'm overselling. I probably channel for three solid hours a day. But past that, it just kind of, it zaps your brain. Um. Okay, so when I called Mother Mary to me, she had like, this big smile like she was super excited um really joyful energy she wasn't like you know when like organized religion talks about mother mary it's like mother mary it's like very solemn and very serious and not to take away from her importance to society because she is an ascended master she is just as important as any of the ascended masters or any of the um, archangels or gods or goddesses that we could work with. Um, but I feel like they kind of, yeah, thank you. She's validating. They incorrectly portray her energy. Her actual energy is a bit more joyful, a bit more girlish, um, a bit more lighthearted. Like she's, she's sweet is what she is. Um, she feels a little bit more like a sister energy to me than a mother energy. And I asked her, I was like, is this like based on our dynamic that it feels this way? And she's like, no, I just, I feel like a sister to most people. <laughs> so I was like, okay. So here is her channeled message for all of us. For those who are feeling hurt sad, or wounded, I am happy to help. If you call on me, I will be there. My light is pink. It is soft and gentle. It can surround you while you feel so vulnerable and raw. I'm going to pause for a second because I want to spray the Mother Mary spray. It's one of my favorite sprays ever. It's a beautiful just comforting, loving smell. If there's such a thing as a comforting and loving smell, this is it. Okay. I know. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> Sorry. I just totally breathed some in. I know what unbearable hurt feels like. I know it can feel like there is no end to the pain. Do you want me to use this right now? I don't know why. I'm sorry, guys. Normally, I just like read the channeled messages, but she's telling me to use this right now. So I believe that there are people watching this right now who are struggling with something in their physical world that is making them feel sad or alone or just heartbroken. 
there's suffering, there's emotional pain that's going on. So she's actually asking me to use this right now. So this is Amanda Ellis's Midnight Indigo Light in the Dark. So this is something that's used when people feel like all is lost. People feel like there's no way out. This is this is actually a pretty intense spray. Th this is for people who feel very lost, very alone, very rock bottom. This is to show these individuals that there is always a way forward. So I just want you to breathe that in. Okay, I'm going to go back to this message. I feel like it's choppy when I keep <clears throat> interrupting myself. Um, I know what unbearable hurt feels like. I know it can feel like there is no end to the pain. I am happy to walk beside you. I am happy to rest near you while you sleep as often as you like. I can be in many places at the same time. I am always eager to spend time with you. It is my desire to help those who are suffering. In your darkest moments, I want you to remember that you are loved, that you are seen, and that we, your guides, always, always have time for you. You cannot call us too often. We do not grow weary. Our love for you has no end. It burns forever. There is always a light at the end of a dark tunnel. There is always a time in the future when things will be more clear. When you feel that your burdens are too great, ask for us to come help you. We cannot change your circumstances, but we can help you gain a higher perspective on what is causing you suffering. You are never alone. You are never unloved. There is always something better up ahead if you can persist through your struggle. Okay. Do you want me? No. Okay. Are we good on... Do you want this one? Okay. I'm going to also use Sanat Kumara Love and Light Activation. This is a, another beautiful smell, very similar to the Mother Mary smell. And this is kind of like a lot of times when you use light in the dark, you follow it up with new dawn. This is almost like a different way to do that where it's like you're in a dark place. I want you to know there's a way through this. There's a way to reach light and higher information again. And this is kind of like the Mother Mary spray and this one are both very like loving and supportive, very comforting. So, <clears throat> okay, let's pull some cards. Which ones do you want to do? This one. So start with this one. Okay. So they're having me start with Spirit Animal Wisdom. I just got this deck not that long ago. I really love the artwork. Um, so let's go ahead and see what Mother Mary, you want that. Do you want me to just do one? You want me to keep going? Okay. So I pulled one card and I'm going to do three, four. All done? Okay. So she gave me four cards. So let's take a look at what, and these are all for Mother Mary. Okay. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Okay. So this is Whale. And it says tenderness, show compassion, and forgive what needs to be forgiven. 
But really, we can ignore that. What she's really pointing out is the tenderness. Okay, so do you want me to just channel right off of this card? Okay. Okay. So whatever wound this is for each of us, she's referencing the wound as being tender or raw. It's very vulnerable. This is a vulnerable period for a lot of people, which is why they're calling me to try to support all of you through this by connecting you with messages from these guides and connecting you with the energy of these sprays, which is very supportive. There's something else you want from this. So she's, I'm, not, I'm just going to talk this through because I'm not sure what she wants. She's pointing out the whale to me. Um, the crystalline whales, which are uh, whale energy at the highest possible vibration. Um, and I think, uh, let me look at my cheat sheet. They, which would be at like the ninth dimension is where this would be, where crystalline whales would be. Um, they're associated with art energy. So kind of cool that this artist and this, whoever wrote this tapped into that, that tenderness and whales actually go together because it's tied into the heart chakra. Um, whale energy is synonymous with like the steady rhythmic beating of like a heart. So whether that's a heart inside your body or the heart of a planet, it's tied into that. Um, so if you feel so inclined, you could, if you're going through a heartbreak, if you're going through grief, if you're going through something emotional, you can always, in addition to Mother Mary or instead of Mother Mary, you could always call in the crystalline wells to help your heart chakra flow and have rhythm in the right manner so that trauma is clearing out from you because what you don't want to happen whenever we have something traumatic happen to us um uh, many 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 times there's a moment of resistance to whatever that difficult thing is that's caused the trauma and the resistance is what kind of creates a block if we were all like the most um, evolved souls and we were all at like the ascended master level, something horrible would happen and we would be like, ooh, this is horrible and it would hurt and we would feel it, but we would also be like, and I release it and I let this flow through me because you need your energy to be flowing in order to be healthy. So it's really our resistance to, ooh, I don't want this. No, it's that uh, that creates the block, that creates the stoppage, that stops the flow of energy, that creates the illness, right? So there's like this domino effect. Finn, can you lay down? You want to say hi? He hasn't said hi in a long time. Hi, hi. This is Finn. He's deaf. He loves being over here when I'm doing stuff, but he has a hard time getting comfortable so he's like pacing around the room okay let's pull the next card Ooh, i don't know what we have going on here so we have golden unicorn it says ascension it says awaken to your soul's potential so i have to ask her what she wants because i honestly don't know Okay, so she's like, ignore the ascension, ignore, ignore the awaken to your soul's potential. So she's really just pointing out this golden unicorn. So let's just talk this out and see where we go. So unicorn energy. Unicorn energy is the same as horse energy, which is the same as Pegasus energy. It's all the same creature. It doesn't matter um, necessarily whether you see like the unicorn on it or the wings. It, they're all interrelated. Um, 
okay. She's like, and the energy of the horse and the unicorn, it's all about uh, freedom. And especially when you're seeing like the horn or like the wings, it's tied into a much higher vibration. It's tied into um, more like the crystalline realms, or this is like pointing out a golden unicorn. What do you want me to get from this? I feel like I'm not hitting the mark here, Mother Mary. Help me out. He said, keep going. I don't know where to go. <laughs> um, see, this is what I get for trying to have an adventure. I'm like, I'm going to channel all these guides I don't normally channel, and I'm just going to do it on the spot, on video. Well, now you get to see me struggle a little bit because it's hard. Um, it's harder when you're tuning into like energies you don't normally tune into. At least for me, it is. Okay. Golden unicorn. Freedom. You are being so quiet right now. Don't do that to me. <laughs> Help me out, Mother Mary. Oh, oh, thank you. She's funny. She's just waiting for me to understand. Mm -hmm. So she's wanting me to bring up this one. So this is Archangel Jophiel's spray. And it says beauty and wisdom. And the reason she made me think of this is this golden yellow color on this unicorn. Um, okay, 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 okay. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I didn't connect that at all. Okay, now I understand what she's saying. So <clears throat> Archangel Jophiel is also connected with joy. And the color yellow is connected to the feeling of joy. Um, unicorns are tied into like joy, playfulness, that kind of thing. I'm going to spray this spray for you. It says beauty and wisdom. Even my cat likes the spray. That's pretty good. <laughs> he totally didn't even move. <laughs> okay. Mm, how funny. So... One of the things, there we go. Thank you. Now we're connecting. One of the things that can help you when you are feeling depressed and you're going through grieving. So obviously you want to allow yourself to be sad. You want to allow yourself to grieve and feel loss and um, experience those feelings. I definitely do not want you to bottle it up or ignore them. However, if you're in a kind of a long-term relationship with these feelings, if this is, if you are grieving the loss of someone, if you are in depression, something where this is like a, a day after day, multiple times a week, week after week event, then it's important to still tap into joy in your life because joy is going to end up being the light in the dark. So you want to make sure that you're still making time for things, experiences that you love, that lights you up. And yes, it's going to be different. You're not going to be like over the moon. This is so wonderful. I've forgotten all my cares. Life is great now. It's not about that. It's about balancing the experience of the soul in the body. So you give time and you acknowledge, I am grieving. This is sad. I don't like this, but this is, this is what is. And so you spend time acknowledging that, but you also give yourself a break and you spend time in, well, life is still beautiful because, and then you finish the sentence, life is still beautiful because... The sun feels warm on my face. Life is still beautiful because the breeze feels nice on my skin or because this apple tastes amazing or um, whatever it is, taking a walk outside, um, taking a hot shower, like Whatever it is that you can do where it's like, okay, this 
reminds me that there are there are joys and pleasures in life. It's not just difficult. So you want to give yourself balance. She's coming through with big messages, even though it's hard for me to get them. Oh, okay. Here we go. Giraffe. And I saw the words, the bigger picture. And it says, take a step back and gather your thoughts and feelings. So this is important when you are going through a difficult time. It's easy to feel like the part of life that is not going the way you want. It's easy to let that get really, really, really big and kind of take up the whole room. And it starts clouding your thinking at some point and making you feel like things that are beautiful and are wonderful, it's like you toss them to the side. You don't see it anymore because everything is horrible because this is not right. This, this Something has gone wrong in life. Divorce. A death. A job loss. Whatever it is, something has gone wrong and it starts tainting all the good things in your life. And so stepping back like the giraffe, taking the higher perspective like the giraffe and looking at your life and taking a moment to go, okay, this, this aspect of life is difficult. But shifting away from that temporarily in order to assess the rest of your life and, and telling yourself, okay, I had clean water to drink today. I had enough food to survive on today. I have a roof over my head. There are lots of these things that people maybe take for granted. But the reality is not everyone has a roof over their head. Not everyone has clean water to drink. So taking a different perspective on your life in order to find more joy and more value in the things that are there in your life, that are working. <clears throat> Field mouse. It says success and says believe in yourself and dare to dream big. She says no to that. Success, no to that. All right, so let's do field mouse. Um, I think she actually... <clears throat> Let me see if I can pull this up in here. Huh? Oh, look at that. I immediately pulled it up. That's crazy. Okay, let's see. The mouse is small but powerful. Proof that you don't have to be the biggest or loudest personality to be heard. He has super sharp senses and is quick on his feet, adapting easily to any new environment. The mouse shows you that you can make the most of what you have, no matter how hard the circumstances seem, how many odds are stacked up against you. You have the power to thrive. And when you triumph, you will feel such a sense of fulfillment and pride. No matter how small you feel, we all have a place in this world and can survive and grow together. You can achieve huge things when you believe in yourself. Don't listen to what anyone else may, stay, may say. Stand strong and listen to your heart. So what she highlighted for me was adapting easily to any new environment. So the difficult part about loss or something going on in your, in your life, basically something changes, right? There's a change that happens. And then we as human beings need to adjust to that change. And it's that adjustment period that's so difficult. It's the adjustment period that challenges the soul because the soul needs to grow 
in order to thrive despite the circumstance. Um, So the more easily you can adapt to change, the easier those time periods can be. Okay. Um, Who else do I want to, can I try Master (laughs) Thay? Sorry for the cough, guys. Um, No sprays. Okay. So I have three other decks here. So this is the one he wants. Oh boy. Why am I so freaking scared? Probably because this is Mystical Journey Oracle. I'm scared because um, I'm trying to channel someone that I'm scared to channel anyways. And now I'm trying to do it live with Oracle cards. So that's actually complicated. But I wanted a little adventure. So here we are. You want this one. You want this one. Uh Uh-huh. Keep going. Do you want any more in the deck? Okay, you just want those three. Okay. Okie dokie, start from here. Start from here. Hmm. Authenticity. Do you can I look at the other cards? So we have authenticity. We have sanctuary. We have clearing your space. That's interesting. So this is crazy. So this image. He's actually showing me this as a heart, like as a physical heart beating inside your chest. So he's showing me like, this is the, the heart. And these are all these different chambers with like blood going in, blood going out. And that's why some of them are like blue and some of them are red because some of them have oxygenated blood and some of them have deoxygenated blood. So that sounds kind of technical, but that's, he's showing it to me as a heart. So if we think about our heart chakras, and we think about authenticity. Why are you showing me that? Okay. Back here in the shadows is a tree. I don't know if you can see that. There's like a trunk and there's like a little tree back here. So. Do you even want the word? I should have asked him. He doesn't want the word authenticity. Okay, so he's talking about growing, growing something new in your heart. He's talking about this is funny because I used to listen to the. to listen to different like speeches he would give back when he was alive. Um, I believe his name is pronounced Tik Nan Han. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, but Master Thay is what he goes by. Um, but he would talk about taking little seeds and you plant little seeds in your heart. And he would always say like you, you plant these seeds and you go in and he would say, you touch these seeds to help them grow. You know, you touch the seeds of love and compassion in order to help them grow and you you know ignore or dig out these seeds of like hatred or these things you don't want um but he's kind of connecting it to that and he's talking about to keep putting your focus on the things and the feelings that you want in yourself to grow and to flourish so that really connects with the message that mother mary was giving about um like taking a higher perspective in order to have gratitude or remembering the things that still bring you joy despite the difficult time that you're in let me see the other cards do you want me Am I doing the words on these? He says yes. Okay. 
So sanctuary in clearing your space. Are there things about your physical space? So this is going to be like maybe your home, might be your office, but this is probably your home. Are there things about your physical space that are not supporting you moving forward is how I want to say this. So I don't know if this is like... I feel like, like if, okay, for example, let's say you broke up with someone who was kind of toxic and like you still have their picture or you still have their stuff around your house. That would be energetically not a good idea because you don't, it's hard to make a clean cut and move forward if you have old energy hanging around. So that's the example I'm going to give. This may not apply to everybody. Or you may have to be creative to think about how this could apply to you. This is a horrible picture. Who decided this picture for sanctuary? That does not look like a sanctuary at all. She doesn't look happy at all. She looks miserable. She needs a sanctuary. So make sure that, oh, thank you. He's not talking about physical space when he's talking about sanctuary. <clears throat> he's talking about inner sanctuary. Um, make sure that you are tending to your heart. And, oh, my God. You wanted me to talk about this energetically. Make sure you are attending to your heart and make sure you're clear, keeping it clear. Like make sure you're clearing out when you have the, the thought of like the horrible thought. That's not true. Like I'm not worthy. Um, this is my fault. Like all these things that don't belong in there. Make sure you're clearing that out of your heart. That does not go there because your heart is like, your, your sanctuary space. You need to be able to go inside within yourself in order to find relief from what's going on in the physical world. You need to be able to take a time out and go inside. And there's no escaping ourselves. There's no escaping your soul. You can like, you know, we all go on vacation to take a break, right? But it's not about what's on our physical surroundings. It's you can you can't really take a break unless your your inner self is at peace your inner self has a sanctuary okay i'm really excited because all of those are super consistent with something that he would teach about so that's validation for me that makes me really happy thank you um okay I asked him if he wanted to do any more cards. This is what he wants to do, so I'm just going to wrap it up here. Um, well, this was kind of fun. Maybe we'll do this again, but with like different guides every time, just because it's interesting to uh, get everybody's input. And it's interesting with Master Thay because I know what his voice sounds like, which, like, if you think like Mother Mary, I don't know what her voice sounds like, but I could um, not hear her voice, but I could hear her better, if that makes any sense. His voice, I didn't hear him at all. It was just, he's coming in as a knowing, a knowing, a knowing, which is interesting because you'd think if I could, if I know his voice, he would just speak in his voice so I could hear him. He thinks that's funny. That's cool. Okay. Okay, so this is everything that I have for you. I'm really sorry. Any of you who are going through a really difficult time right now, I'm sorry that that is what you are going through. Please just take what you can from these messages. Um, if something I said doesn't feel helpful, then just disregard it. No problem. But hopefully some parts of what I've said resonate for you and can be helpful for you when you feel alone or when you feel 
like you've run out of options or, it, you know, whatever the case may be. I'm hoping that this is kind of a little bit of a light at the end of the tunnel to help you have some more tools to get yourself where you want to be. Okay. I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.